Hello YouTube and welcome back, this is Nico and you're watching Dare to Game. Today we're going to be doing a video that I call What Improvements Should Warhorse Make in Kingdom Come Deliverance 2? Or whatever the sequel ends up being. This is going to be not so much a speculation video but more of a suggestion piece. So if you'd like this to get around and hopefully Warhorse to see it, share it around, like it. Uh, and while you're at it, subscribe to the channel because it's a fantastic channel and I really, honestly, think you should subscribe. Kingdom Come Deliverance is an excellent medieval RPG that has surprised and shocked many by its quality when considering the fact that it is the gaming debut for Warhorse Studios. I, however, was not one of the people who was shocked and surprised. Because, from the word go, I had confidence that it would be a game that I would truly enjoy. With all of that in mind, the ending did leave the story wide open, I'm not gonna waste or what many would consider unfinished. So, a sequel is inevitable. In this video, I will attempt to isolate the things that I believe Warhorse should focus on in the sequel. Bear in mind that this video is made entirely of my own opinion, and is not all-inclusive in regard to what could be done. I am also not saying this game was bad in any way. I am just saying that even the best games could always do better. Also note that spoilers are ahead, so turn back now if you would like to avoid that. So, for starters, I'm going to just jump right into armor and weapons. Kingdom Come did a great job offering a decent variety of detailed and interesting weapons and armor pieces. However, there were some areas that I found lacking, such as helmets. I don't like the aesthetic of any of the helmets in this game that much, and I also didn't like many of the mechanics. Helmets should not be the first piece of armor to get dirty. In fact, they should be the last. And there should be a manual option to put the visor down, meaning that you could choose to leave it up during combat if you want, or leave it open during conversations or cutscenes, so you could see Henry's face and therefore his reactions. So, for the sequel, I would really like to see a much wider variety of armor and weapons, including new stuff from more backgrounds and styles, so we'd see less of just a small area of Bohemia and maybe some stuff coming out of the British Isles or farther east or even the Mediterranean. I'd like to see a lot of different influences in the armor. And I'd also like to see some new weapons like lances, crossbows, and maybe even some thrown weapons like throwing knives or even rocks. I would just like more variety because in an RPG like this, variety is the spice of life. Next up, I would like to have the option to make some place a home. I think that it is safe to, to assume that any sequel will continue the story that we started in Kingdom Come Deliverance, so Henry should already be a wealthy bastard son of a local lord. So it would make logical sense for Henry to be able to utilize his wealth in a constructive way to suit his own means. For example, I would like to see a very customizable home that Henry could live in, with various storage chests that would not be linked to the central chest system, so you could sort out belongings, making it easier to find what you want, and also not such a pain to keep everything that you like. I would also really like to see weapons racks, mannequins for armor, maybe a bookshelf to keep all the books you find. Basically, anything that allows the player to show off their hoarding skills. I feel that this is a very small detail or gameplay function that most RPG players, like myself, really enjoy, and most would agree that it would be well worth the work to enact. Another thing that really needs some work for the next Warhorse Studios game is NPC interactions. Although some of them are interesting, dynamic is one thing that they are not. Time can only tell how well Rockstar does Red Dead 2, because at the time of recording this video, I have not yet played it. But from what I've seen, it appears that they are putting a lot of work into making the world seem alive by making NPC interactions dynamic. I really would like to be able to walk through Rite and flirt with a local townswoman, or threaten a Scalitz refugee, or bribe an official to get rid of a witness, or even to be able to have a more casual night at the inn with Sir Hanish. In summary, I found the scripted interactions in Kingdom Come to be severely lacking. I really hate getting to the point in a game where NPCs are essentially useless and might as well not be there, because they contribute literally nothing to the experience. So for Warhorse, that should be something that they really focus on in the sequel. Content is another thing that they should work on. Now this is not to say that the content in the game wasn't good, merely that I think that there wasn't enough unique side content for a game this big. In a recent video, I compared Kingdom Come Deliverance to The Witcher 3, 
And although many people think it is not a fair comparison, I stand by it. Kingdom Come Deliverance has somewhere around 50 side missions, and The Witcher 3 has somewhere around 150. So I think that even though Kingdom Come Deliverance had great quality for the most part, the quantity was barely enough. I think that they could benefit from some Elder Scrolls style guilds or clubs, such as the Thieves Guild, the Blades, or the Fighters Guild. This sort of content makes the player feel more connected to the story and doesn't require any sort of deep storytelling. It just serves as a small side story for the player to participate in, and I think it would be amazing to see something like this in the next Kingdom Come game. Dialogue is something that should be worked on. The cutscenes were fantastic, the scripts were solid, and the voice acting is awesome. But this is not the instance for the text wheel. It is far too limiting and misleading. I don't like how they have specific things that they want you to say, and approaches that they want you to take. They want Henry to be a rebellious, hot-headed young man who doesn't show any amount of respect for anyone. I would like to have more options, so I can play like I want, and say what I think is right. If Warhorse doesn't want us to be able to choose what we say, or at least give us more options, then they might as well replace every conversation with a cutscene, because they were at least entertaining. But now that my rant for that is over, let's move on to the next point. Lastly, I would really like to see the ability to give armor, clothing, weapons, food, or money to anyone in the game and have them wear it. There is a point in the game where you are courting Teresa, and you can give her clothing or jewelry, but no matter how much better the stuff is that you give her, she won't wear it. And you have millions of Groshen and chests packed full of clothing, armor, weapons, and food, but you can't give any of it to your beggar buddies, so they don't need to lie in the mud wearing rags begging for food. And then, later, in the From the Ashes DLC, you can make a town from the ground up, and you can choose to build a guardhouse, and have your own garrison, and they completely missed the opportunity to let you customize your guard's loadout, which would have been amazing, and potentially extended the playtime for hours. So in summary, this is something that Warhorse should look to Fallout 4 for and make a system much like that, where you can physically change what people use, at least if you're good enough friends with them. So, I think I've covered everything I wanted to say in this video. I hope you liked it. But whether you agree or disagree, or if you've got something that you'd like to add, leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Well, that's another video in the books. I hope you liked it. If you did, smash that like button, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to put some links on the screen here to help you subscribe and maybe see another video. But in any case, thanks for watching, and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.